he's one of the richest people in the world. In fact, he's actually the fourth centi billionaire in the entire world. And only recently, his net worth soared to new heights as the stock of his Tesla company soared nearly 400% in the past few months. Having all of that cash must be nice, but what does he usually buy with it? Well, in this video, we will be looking at how Elon Musk spends his billions. So let's dive right in, shall we? A short bio. You might not have known that Elon Musk was actually born in South Africa. It was June 28, 1971, and his mother, Mae Musk, gave birth to a baby boy. Elon is the oldest of three. One is his younger brother, Kimball, and the other, his younger sister, Tosca. His parents later split up and Elon chose to live with his father, Errol Musk. In one of his later interviews, he noted that his father was a terrible human being. But even despite the obstacles he had to overcome, he entered Queen's University in 1989. This was done so he could avoid military service in South Africa, which was mandatory. Only three years later, he left Queen's University and went to the University of Pennsylvania, where he got a degree in both economics and physics. Feeling confident in his expertise and having two degrees to prove it, he set out to conquer the place where he held two internships in 1994, Silicon Valley. Companies. When talking about money, we need to talk about how he managed to make his money. So let's look at Elon's geese that laid the golden eggs. While all of his other friends were going after PhDs, Musk decided he had enough from books and wanted to start his own company. He named it Zip2. This company focused on creating internet city guides for the publishing industry. Musk built the code and had contracts with the New York Times and the Chicago Tribune. All of this meant that his company was good and solid. And that's precisely why Compaq acquired Zip2 for $307 million, of which Musk took $22 million. After this initial success, he put $10 million of his own money into a service called X.com, an online money transfer service. They were a competitor to Confinity, which had the service called PayPal. Musk saw an opportunity in the merger of these two companies, and he grabbed it. With both companies now working hand in hand, Musk persuaded them to focus on one single service, PayPal. In October of 2002, the company was sold to eBay for $1.5 million, out of which Musk got $165 million. With all of this money, he sought to start SpaceX, focused on landing a miniature greenhouse on the surface of Mars and slowly start to colonize the planet. This was back in 2001. Three years later, in 2004, Elon Musk joined the board of directors in Tesla Motors. And during the 2008 financial crisis, Musk gained leadership as the CEO of Tesla after Eberhard was ousted. Tesla and SpaceX were two major companies that contributed to his $101 billion of wealth. And of course, Musk wouldn't be Musk if he didn't start other companies. Some of them include Solar City, Hyperloop, OpenAI, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. How much money does he actually have? When we hear all of these companies and listen to the millions of dollars being made daily, we can't beg to ask, how much money does he actually have? Surprisingly enough, this guy doesn't really have a lot of cash set aside. Most of his assets are in the form of investments and shares, primarily in two of his biggest companies, Tesla and SpaceX. And when you consider the fact that Musk refuses the $56,000 minimum salary, he actually gets paid nothing for being the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. The only way he makes money is by owning around 21% of the stock in Tesla and 18.5% of the stock in SpaceX. And now you see why his net worth skyrocketed these past few months. He was worth around $60 billion just a few months ago, and now his Tesla shares made him one of the fourth centi billionaires in the world. So the question still remains. How does he manage to live in all of those giant houses and driving fancy cars if he doesn't get paid in cash? Well, all of these billionaires use something called credit. Really, Sherlock? Just listen to what we're saying. This is not how you and we use credit. These guys go to a bank, and then those bank issue giant credit cards to these wealthy individuals, with assets tied to them as collateral. This way, they can spend as much as they'd like without having to worry about making money as long as they pay the minimum monthly requirement. And based on the financial documents recently revealed, we know that Elon Musk owes more than $500 million to financial institutions, 
Namely, he owes about $208.9 million to Morgan Stanley and $213 million to Goldman Sachs. They've also said that Musk uses his shares as collateral to get a loan approved for his company. Investment Portfolio He may not have cash, but owning 21% of a $400 billion company is no joke. This guy has money, but he doesn't have it in his bank account. Most of his wealth, around 99% of it, is comprised of company shares. As we mentioned earlier, SpaceX with an 18.5% stake and Tesla are responsible for his giant net worth. Other companies he's invested in include the Boarding Company, DeepMind, PayPal Holdings, and others. Most of these companies have been started by the man himself, and one of them, the Boarding Company, was announced through a tweet while stuck in traffic. What does he spend it on? We think that wealthy guys spend their money on jets, yachts, mansions, and cars, but that's not always the case. Elon Musk is one of them, and despite having so much money, in a tweet from May 1st, 2020, he said, I am selling almost all physical possessions. We'll own no house. So yeah. But let's see what he owned in the past, since he's clearly not in the mood for owning stuff right now. Philanthropy. Given that he's not an avid spender, Musk has signed the Giving Pledge. This pledge states that he is going to donate the majority of his wealth to charitable organizations over his lifetime. Some of the other billionaires that have signed it include Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. In 2015, he donated around $10 million to the Future of Life Institute. This is an organization that aims to make sure the future development of AI is not going to wipe out humanity. And of course, he donated $255 million worth of stock to his own charity, the Musk Foundation. Plus. Add on top of that, around $6 million to the Sierra Club, which is an environmental organization. Cars Is it even a surprise that a guy who owns a car company is a car fanatic? With a lot of money to burn, in 2013, Musk decided to burn $1 million on the extremely rare 1976 Lotus Esprit sports car. If you didn't know, this car was used in the 1977 James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. In the past, he's owned a 1920 Ford Model T, a Jaguar Series 1, 1967 E-Type Roadster, a BMW 1978 320i, and a McLaren F1. Currently, he's more dedicated to his brands and only drives the Tesla Model S. Plus, some people claim to have seen him cruising around in the unforgettable Cybertruck. Jets For a guy that plans his time in 5-minute intervals, he sure uses his jets a lot. In 2019, the Washington Post did a video on all of the flights he did the previous year. Do you want to know the miles he's traveled? 160,000 miles by plane. Isn't that crazy? And you can bet your sweet behind he's not going to be flying in a commercial plane. He owns a Gulfstream G650 that he uses for personal transportation. And recently, he added the Gulfstream G550 jet to his armada. This one reportedly capable of transporting 17 passengers, and he's probably going to be traveling even more now that he's built a new factory in Texas. Yachts Unfortunately, Elon Musk is too busy to host late night parties with hot models on board his private yacht, but that doesn't mean he hasn't purchased one in the past. What do you mean? Well, since SpaceX needs nose cone recovery vessels, he recently bought Mr. Steven, a 207-foot-long boat that was previously used as a supply ship. SpaceX also owns Miss Chief and Miss Tree. Mansions Right after the 1st of May tweet, Musk began selling his mansions and property that he owned. His 47-acre estate in the San Francisco Bay Area hit the market, and he's never looked back. It's a 1916 mansion with 10 bedrooms and a price tag of around $35 million. When June rolled around, Musk sold his Bel Air mansion to a Chinese billionaire. This house brought in $29 million for Elon, and the Chinese billionaire can now enjoy the 16,000 square foot mansion all by himself. And still, that's not all. WealthX says that he has another four properties in Los Angeles that are worth around $40 million combined. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what would you do if you had all the money Elon Musk has? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.